Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at development for your NEA. Um, so this comes under um, section D, uh, developing design ideas. And there are 20 marks for development. So development is the same amount of marks awarded as the realisation or making. So developing your product is as important as making it and showing the stages of development that's really important so um, we've got a sheet here in the series of sheets I've created I've called this 14 and we've got um, some CAD drawings we've got 3D and 2D CAD drawings and we've got the use of some templates so we've produced templates 3D and 2D CAD drawings so if we look at our mark scheme here and if you can read that if you like uh, it says students will develop and refine design ideas this may include formal and informal 2d and 3d drawing including CAD systems um, schematic drawings it also says that it will be part of a thing uh, uh, what they call a design specification part of this work will feed in the development of manufacturing specification these things are things like circuit diagrams patterns parts templates cutting lists um, so they would work together with a sheet such as this. So here's a sheet that has a formal CAD, uh, formal CAD drawing, an orthographic drawing. That's what they refer to, I think, as formal drawing, um, rather than sketches and things like that, using the correct conventions. And we've got a parts list there. So if we look at this sheet, um, we've got, as I said, highlighted these CAD drawings. Um, so this is for a garden light. So we've got a 3D CAD drawing here drawn on SketchUp. We've got a, 2D, a 3D CAD drawing here drawn um, showing a holder that would fit in to hold the circuit board. So this is something that circuit board would fit in. We've also mentioned the, the, the stainless steel screws that would be used to fit in there. So let's say moving towards a sort of solution. Um, here we talk about laser cutting. So this this um, component here could be 3D printed. Um, this these components here would be laser cut, and we talk about making some um, prototype ones from card, and then cutting them out with um, cutting them out with a laser cutter. You can see there are those drawings, um, and then also things some templates here. So the creation of some templates to make finger joints. And mentioning, as I say, glue and screws and, and all the things that are going to be your uh, realisation. If we look um, at the mark scheme here, if we look at the top band here, very detailed development work is, is evident. Excellent modelling using a wide variety of methods. This is modelling, 3D modelling. You, you could have card modelling and something else like that, but card as in made from foam board or card, cardboard as opposed to CAD modelling, but these two 3D CAD will, will count as, as modelling. Uh, fully appropriate materials and components, so we've talked about materials here, mentioning plywood, um, talked about the type of glue, talked about 3D printing from PLA, so we, we're mentioning the components for our, our, our solution, and um, a fully detailed comprehensive justification to inform manufacture. So there, there's the, the mark bands there. Um, it also says that the, it talks about, so there's a summary here, and it says to create my lamp based parts, I decided to use some card templates allow me to produce accurate final. I te use Texoff, so use the CAD, talks about using the CAD. And here, at this last piece here, I've talked about, so this student has mentioned that. Although they drew this component here um, to hold the circuit board, due to lack of time they didn't 3D print that, they didn't get the time to 3D print that. And, and that's great because that's kind of a reflection on the process and something that they could do. Um, and, and they can also mention that in their final evaluation to say, you know, I would have added this component if the product was going to be mass produced, this may be injection molded. And it actually says that there. So these comments here can then go on to feed your um, final evaluation. And they are an evaluation comment here, which will go towards marks in the evaluation. So that is something on development um, and, and development of the construction and the materials. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.